Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Stanford Cardinal and the Utah Utes. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. It could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essentially control the tempo of the game. The Utes are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. Number one, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Secondly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. And finally, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Control of the ball. The center with the ball. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. He goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. He takes the board. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position. So he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. it in for the bucket. They still don't score. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. The power forward gets the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. They tried to double team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. Dump it inside. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure, but it's too much for him, and he lost possession. Number 50 is fired up right now emotionally. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He looks at the hoop. Number 42 fakes the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen away. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Shoots. Utah are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. They look to get it to the inside. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. The center takes the feed. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. 
The Utes are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First one is good. Sinks it. Trying to feed inside for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Spacing. Takes away the pass. From left of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out. And that's how he's winning that battle. Kicks it out. He bombs from outside. Buried it. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so... He swatted everything out of the air. Including the other player. Upton draws the personal. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. With the free one. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of bounds. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. There's a double team waiting there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The center. He gets the rejection. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. It's good. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He fakes the shot. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Got it. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. He gets that one to fall. They work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Way off target. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the dribble gives it up very soft defensively no pressure on it he blocks the shot gave it up has a nice look at the basket what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball on the outside the center gets the pass that'll take some pride on the defensive end the frustration right there He 
He shoots from the top of the key. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. Anticipation defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looks at a three, drains the shot. On the outside, turns it over. With a deep shot from outside. They are red hot from behind the arc, Nick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. There's a high screen. Trying to draw some contact. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Ball goes out of bounds. Entry pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Jump hook from the low block. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He attempts the trifecta. There was no doubt about that one. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The 
rush is getting to him, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Ten seconds to get a shot off. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The Cardinals have a three-point shooter spotting up. There's the trap. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Contact causes the shot to come off. That's just embarrassing, Brad. No one within miles to help him out. There he is, strips the ball loose. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Look at this guy's speed. And he just puts pressure, pressure, pressure on the defense all the time. The way he takes and attacks the basket. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Length of the floor and the slam. Here's one for the highlight reel. Dump it inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. This, to me, this is a gift. Two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Working it around the perimeter. From right at the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And he scores it off the glass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, that angle. He shoots from left of the circle. The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Up and inside. Here's a double team. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up with the fake. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Got a wide open look. Looking for contact. Sinks it.
glad this place will be deafening if they can score here. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He gets it to go. And he'll kick it back outside. Pull-up jumper from way out. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball gave it up he squares up down on the low block I tell you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position you can drive shoot or you can pass on the dribble gives it up stolen away fast break opportunity here tries for two great play to take that to the basket The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. Got the shot if he wants it. Look at that spacing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. Gets it to fall. And working around the perimeter. For two. Perfectly executed. Pushing that basketball. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He'll take it the other way. Wow, plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. <laughs> to the line. He hits it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Steals a pass. The ball goes out of play. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Got a nice, terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. <laughs> on the outside. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. 
two for one opportunity. He intercepts it. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. The man is off the charts, Brad. The Utes have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. They're working around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from outside. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Puts up the tray. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Way off target. At the half, the Cardinals are trailing by 14. Looks like we're in for a whale of a game, Dick Vitale. Plays of the half. What's your pick? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Utah found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well. The crowd begins to cheer them on. And the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Fake. Nice fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Up and inside. From way outside. He shows the sweet touch. The replay's not even enough for this one. Big man spins down. He posterized him. The funny thing is, this defense isn't that bad. But the O is just that good. the free throw line makes the foul shot they have found their stroke at the strike tonight Dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch and the ball goes out of bounds Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him. He... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. 
The Utes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Intercepted. Up and inside. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Picked off. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101, how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes in. Kicks off the lazy pass. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. For two, perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Look at that spacing. He takes the three, sinks the shot. The Cardinal trail by 21. They work it around the perimeter. The fake. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's close with his team there, Riddle. Got some room. Picked out of the air. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Gave it up. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Moving it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the dribble, gives it up. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either.
Turnaround jumper. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. Oh, what a strip, Red. Here they go, into the break. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you've got to get help on. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Jumped in front to take it away. They move it into the front court. He comes away with it. The ball goes out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the key, the Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Low post. And in and out. Gave it up. Nice high post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Top of the circle. He nails the bucket. Door, door, four, four, three. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. He's got some room. High post screen. So effective, that screen. The Utes lead by 14. away the pass for the bucket easy one
Looking for the foul. And he missed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the shot off the baseline. We've got a blowout so far, folks. Hey, when you're down this much late, you have to make sure you don't fall into any bad habits. You have to treat this like a practice now. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. A little showtime. A little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Gave it up. He attempts the three. He makes the shot. That's an 11 0 run. here after the timeout. The power forward in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork keeping him to the spot. He buries it. Here's another look at the play. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He tries the three. It sticks. They've left him completely alone. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Taken away. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. situation looking like to you. I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt plays dictate your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Makes the first shot.
Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. Says BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. This should be an easy bucket. Lobs it for two. He drains the bucket. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He wants a three. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They still don't score. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter in the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Puts it up looking for contact. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They work it around the perimeter. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Strips the ball. Fast break possibility coming for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Tries for two. Doesn't go. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Fakes it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Good fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dip. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. The Utes have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Worth the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Scorches the net. Let's slow this one down on a replay. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two. 
Can't get the shot to drop. We get ready to bounce back into action here. He tries to knock down the three. He knocks down another bucket down. This kid's got skills, Brad. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession in our timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point in the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Second one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He takes the three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. The power forward takes the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. You know, upsets like this don't grow on trees. We see it once in a while, but this one's still got me a little baffled. I think the coach staff's got to get them back in a practice environment and get them to be intense. I didn't like the way they were acting at the shoot around. I thought they were too cocky then, and it reflected in the way they played. They were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform. Utah comes away with a win. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.